It's the Monday Morning Show. So, it's Monday. It's hot outside. I saw Will Wilson earlier. Got to take some pictures for him and Abby. That was cool. I was going to get him to be on the video, but then we totally forgot about it. So, I took this awkward video of him driving down the road and Abby waving, but you can't see him because the windows are tinted. So anyway, I uh, hope you made it to worship yesterday. It was an awesome morning of worship. Uh, Dave continued in his series that he's been on uh, from Genesis. And yesterday, uh, he did an awesome job of talking about the, the sinfulness of humanity. Um, obviously, it's not fun to talk about our sin, uh, but we need to hear it. We need to talk about it. Um, he talked about Romans uh, he mentioned Romans chapter 3, uh, which is one of my favorite passages. He mentioned that when he does evangelism, he likes to go to the Romans road, uh, which it's been called, and kind of walk through Romans and share the gospel in that way. Um, that is my favorite way to talk about uh, evangelism, to do evangelism, talk to somebody about the gospel, because Paul in Romans does an awesome job of kind of recapping the gospel for us. Um, and so yesterday, uh, one of the verses that Dave quoted was Romans chapter 3, verses 9 to 18. I'm going to read that for you now. What then? Are we Jews any better off? No, not at all. For we have already charged that all, both Jew and Greek, are under sin. As it is written, none is righteous, no, not one. No one understands. No one seeks God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. Their throat is an open grave. They use their tongues to deceive. The venom of asps is under their lips. Their mouth is full of curses and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood, and their paths are ruin and misery, and the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. And so I think it's important that we understand the reality of sin, the reality of our sin nature, so that we can understand our great need for a Savior. Um, and so I think that is extremely important. Dave did a great job with that. If you haven't been able to uh, come in person on Sundays to worship, I would encourage you, please, please, please go online and watch the sermon videos from each Sunday. Um, it's just there's something special about being with the body of Christ and opening the Word of God and it being uh, preached to you. Uh, I think it's an important aspect of our Christian life. So please be a part of that. Today for our scripture encouragement, I wanted to read to you Psalms chapter 46. It is um, a psalm of Alamoth. It's a song. Um I don't know who Alamoth is, but he wrote an awesome song, Psalm here. Um, like I said, I've told you guys multiple, multiple times, I love the Psalms. Uh, if you need some encouragement, just jump in on the Psalms and read uh, from there. It is such good stuff. Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and behold the works of the Lord. How he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Um, just a great and encouraging psalm in the midst of 
a time when we are so unsure about the future of our nation or so unsure about the future of our world um, to know that God is our refuge and strength. God is our refuge and strength. Can we just meditate and just soak in that truth today that no matter what happens in our world, no matter what's going on outside, we know that God is for us. He is with us. He is our refuge and strength. God alone is worthy of our praise. So we should cling to God. We should cast our affections, our hope, our trust, our peace on God. I'll give you a quick weekly rundown. Of course, we've got the Monday morning show here today. This video, this is it, Monday morning show. We're going to have midweek Bible study on Wednesday night at 6.30. That'll premiere on YouTube. And then on Sunday, we've got worship. But before Sunday, Friday night, we've got our cookout at the Thomas House at 6.30. We'd love for you to be there. Um, you can RSVP by texting me, or you can just go to the link in our uh, description here on this video. Uh, pray for me. On Wednesday night, we do have Bible study uh, on YouTube at 6.30, but I will be uh, at Coryton preaching for their students, uh, filling in for Brennan, the guy you've seen on the video a few different times. Um, he's an awesome friend of mine just right down the road at Coryton, and he invited me to come and speak to the youth. And so I'm going to go do that, and I hope that uh, they are encouraged. I'm going to uh, kind of do a little bit similar message to our Bible study from last week on Colossians chapter 3. Um, so we're going to look at that, and I hope that they will be encouraged. Um, if any of you are available and want to come, you can come to Coryton on Wednesday night and check that out. Um, just text me for details, but uh, just pray for me. I hope, I hope it'll be good. I hope they'll be encouraged, and I hope you guys are encouraged by what we've got for this Wednesday night for the next section of Colossians chapter 3. We're going to be looking at Colossians three eighteen to 4, 1, uh, talking about the God's intent and desire for the family. Uh, I think it'll be good. So anyway, Colossians series coming to a close very soon. Um, cookout, all the good stuff, uh, everything coming up. I hope you guys are well. If you need anything, please let me know. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.